Pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadliest forms of cancer. The cancer affects the pancreas, which is a gland of the human body, located in the abdominal area between the stomach and the spine. The pancreas produces enzymes that help digestion and hormones that control blood sugar levels. Pancreatic cancer is the 10th most diagnosed cancer in America. In 2023, more than 64,000 Americans are expected to be diagnosed. That is 175 people per day. Pancreatic cancer is extremely hard to diagnose. Pancreatic cancer is diagnosed through MRIs, x-rays, and ultrasounds. Let's learn more from Dr. Christopher Gandhi, who was a researcher of pancreatic cancer at the University of Illinois College of Medicine, Peoria, Illinois. Hi everyone, I am Christopher Gandhi. I work as a research associate professor at the College of Medicine here in Peoria, University of Illinois. My primary work is on pancreatic cancer. I've been working on pancreatic cancer for more than a decade. Pancreatic cancer is a deadly disease. That means only 11% people survive more than five years. The problem is it's very difficult to diagnose. Symptoms range from vague stomach pains, change in diet, uh, diarrhea, so diagnosing pancreatic cancer is a challenge, an extremely difficult challenge for physicians. Once diagnosed, it's usually too late, usually fourth stage. What am I trying to do to help uh, pancreatic cancer patients? Therapy resistance is a very big problem. That means people who are undergoing cancer therapy for pancreatic cancer specifically do not respond very well because the tumor is so advanced. And usually these tumors start to develop resistance. To overcome that resistance, we need to sensitize the tumor cell specifically. Each person's pancreatic cancer is different. So treatment should be tailored to an individual. That's where individualized therapy comes in. And I'm working towards that. Also, I'm working towards identifying methods to detect pancreatic cancer early. Some time during the history of, of the patient when symptoms, vague symptoms started to occur, there might have been some marker points which could have helped in early diagnosis. If a tumor is diagnosed early, treatment becomes easier and more effective. So we are using artificial intelligence based methods to develop protocols where we look into the history of patients, thousands of patients, look at their history and then see what was the common factor that led to a pancreatic cancer diagnosis. For all the promising work that Dr. Gandhi does in fighting pancreatic cancer, he needs to raise his own funds to keep his research going. His work is funded by private donors, local grants, and from the Teresa Tracy Strive to Survive, which is an organization that raises funds to support this fight against pancreatic cancer. Let's learn more about the Teresa Tracy Strive to Survive from Oren and Kathy Naramore. Hello, we are Oren and Kathy Naramore. Uh, we, amongst a few other people, started the Teresa Tracy Strive to Survive fighting pancreatic cancer. Uh, we lost my sister Teresa Tracy back in 2010 to pancreatic cancer. She was diagnosed in May, May 5th, my birthday in 2010, and passed away maybe 11 29 of 2010. We started the Teresa Tracy Trot 1 to keep her m memory alive. We're 100% volunteers. Everybody that is a part of the organization has lost somebody. So we started it in, I think, our first one. So if it uh, must have been 2012, the first Teresa Tracy trot. So our first race, we actually made $18,000 that I think we give to Illinois Cancer. Got us in touch with Dr. Gandhi. And the following year, we donated half and half to Illinois Cancer and Illinois School of Medicine. So we've, we've done this 10 years and we've uh, raised $751,000. The fight against pancreatic cancer requires collaboration and partnership between researchers like Dr. Gandhi and organizations like the Teresa Tracy's Try to Survive Pancreatic Cancer. This shared commitment to finding a cure demonstrates a united effort to fight against pancreatic cancer for patients. This fight comes full circle, starting with the patient, along with researchers like Dr. Gandhi, who continues this fight, and the Teresa Tracy Strive to Survive, who inspires others to continue fighting through the support of research and advocacy. Together in this fight, we can create a circle of hope and healing that starts with the patients and ends with the cure for pancreatic cancer. Go! Fight!